Hi, this is my module 15 reflection. So the first question I was supposed to answer is, what are your thoughts to the gamification of education? Do you feel games can be used to teach students content, or are they simply a way to entertain? What examples can you think of to use games in your future classroom? So my initial thoughts on gamification of education are I actually, I really love the idea of gamification um, of education. Um, the reasons that I love it is because I think it brings a sense of fun to learning and it is it is something that can spark a child to want to learn and to even um, continue his education at home um, through games and through uh, different resources. Um, I think as teachers like one of our one of our core goals should be to spark an interest to learn and I think through gamification you can do that. And it's a fun way to incorporate learning um, into the classroom. Um, I don't feel that games um, are, I don't think they're simply just a way to entertain. I think they can, they teach content. And I've seen it happen over and over as, I, just as I've been in the schools and we, we incorporate a lot of different games, um, board games, uh, games that are on the internet, PowerPoint games, Jeopardy, things like that, like, um, that you can use in the classroom and it teaches content and, and the kids learn from it and they like it because it adds a sense of competition or adds like a, a sense of fun to learning. Um, so a couple of examples that I think of of games in the classroom, there's this uh, a website called iReady. Um, and I really like this. It's most of it is mainly just like a train. It's a uh, tutorials. Um, they give them a lesson and then the quizzes and then there's games that they can do on that. Um, and those games are just like benefits for them. Another example is Prodigy. Prodigy reminds me a lot of like a Pokemon game or like um, a World of Warcraft game where you have like you fight battles and you do things like that but to win a battle you have to answer math game, math questions and get those right and the more you do that the more uh, damage you do to other people and stuff like that um, another game I, I um, think of is this doesn't really teach like content but it's called rush hour and it's just a fun little thinking game that gets the it's like a puzzle where you have this little square and the cars all face a certain way and you can't pick them up and turn them but you have to get one certain car out of the parking lot pretty much and it's just a, it's just a good game that sparks interest for the the kids and the kids like it and they have fun with it so the second question is what template did you use and what kind of interactive game did you develop was the template user friendly what problems did you experience so the template that i used was off of powerpoint game templates and it was called hoop dreams and it was pretty much just, it was like Jeopardy, but it was basketball incorporated. And I, I love sports, so that was uh, cool for me just to play around on. Um, the type of game that I made was like a vocab quiz. So I just picked 20 words that kids might need to study for like a spelling test or something. And um, as they went through that, you can click on questions and... Uh, the out, the board's outlined with players, and as you click on each player, it comes up with a different question. If you click it right, you either slam dunk or you foul, um, just things like that. Um, it, it was user-friendly. It wasn't too hard to create. The only problem that I, that I had was when I was typing in the text box, like sometimes I couldn't get the text box to actually pop up. I always click on different um, links or different little boxes that they had. Um, in the PowerPoint setup already, but there were there really wasn't many problems I had. It was pretty easy to set it up and to make my own quiz. Um, so some the third question is, what are some examples that you can use interactive PowerPoint games in your future classroom? So some ways that I think you can use it um, is obviously vocab. You could use it for that. Uh, I've seen a lot, and I've even done it in college, is Jeopardy. You can do Jeopardy games where you set up questions in different categories, and you have the students pick points. They're on two different teams, and they can discuss the answer, and um, if they get it right, they get the, the points. So that's just another way. Um, let's see. I mean, there 
there's just tons of there with those templates you can make literally just any sort of quiz that you you want there was a deal or no deal who who wants to be a millionaire things like that um where all where you could just ask questions and the kids can have this sense of competition especially with who wants to be a millionaire just seeing who can get the farthest and as the questions get harder um just watching the students try to compete against each other and try to get the highest score but yeah, that's my module 15 reflection. Thank you guys for listening.